Hi, my name is Vera Petrusha, and I'm president of an organization called UCARE, and that stands for Ukrainian Children's Aid and Relief Effort. And we've been in existence since 1997. We help children in Ukraine, focused on orphanages, but actually all children at this point. We run summer camps in Ukraine. We do scholarships for students once they age out of orphanages and humanitarian aid for all the children that live in orphanages and foster care and things like that. So this collection is for the children and their caregivers and the other people involved in their lives. So we're collecting new clothes now and diapers and baby formula, hygiene items, all that wonderful things that many of you have contributed to. We're also currently able to get funds over to Ukraine. We have partners there that are able to get specific things for the children that are needed. So in Poltava, which is between Kyiv and Kharkiv, um, we have some people that are able to purchase medicine and get that to hospitals and to other refugees that are showing up in their city. So UCARE Inc. Dot org is our website but you can check it out you can see some of our historical projects we bought beds for an orphanage we did artwork when we traveled over there and did things so you can you can see a little bit a uh, glimpse of um, what our organization is all about we're very small we're just it's myself my family group of friends we reached out or really small grassroots um, very adamant about making sure we get um, receipts on everything so that we can show people where their money's going and also we never pay bribes because over there um, fortunately they were used to that type of system but when somebody gives me five dollars for baby formula it's going for baby formula and I'm very strict about that um, it goes into boxes and we inventory everything so that every box has a number and everything is listed what's in there then it goes into a shipping container and then onto the ocean and across the ocean and then get to, uh, to land. Um, before it would go to Odessa, but that's probably not the route it's going to go. I can't um, tell you exactly the route it's going, but it'll probably get to Poland and then cross from Poland into Western Ukraine. That is our goal. That's what we're hoping to happen. It ends up in a warehouse there. Historically, before the war, um, it would have to go through a customs process. And so I'm not sure and very clear on what that looks like now, but before it was very, very strict. They would randomly pick a box and then pick the sheet and say, okay, and let's double check and make sure that there are 12 sweaters, four pairs of pants, things like that. And if it wasn't right, it could hold up a whole container for months. And then once it gets to Ukraine, it's then taken by smaller trucks to orphanages or right now refugee camps, churches, whoever needs it, so. Thank you. Okay. Watch your back right here.